Mockingbird Buys by MCAALI24. Mikali, 24. Summary Freedom is a universal right. Being able to live your life, however, you see fit is a right. Making your own decisions and being free from discrimination is a right. Making the choice to give up is a right. Right? Trigger warning. Implied slash referenced suicide. To be one with nature is more therapeutic than one may think. Witnessing the world create such beauty is not only magical, but but it's something that Midoriya couldn't comprehend. How did the world come to be? When will nature consume humanity and return to its former glory? Where do I fit in in the natural world? These questions circulated through Midoriya's mind as he inhaled the sharp, crisp breeze and observed how the stars glistened above him, how the perfectly formed snowflakes kissed the frost blight forming on his skin, how the city and horizon looked so picturesque from his point of view. Midoriya, a voice called from the distance, Barely acknowledging his new company, Midoriya continued to gaze into the distance. Midoriya, they called louder. I'm going to need you to take a few steps back, kid. Freedom, Midoriya whispered. Huh? Questioned the initial speaker. What does it mean to be free, sensei? Midoriya completely ignored the leader's confusion. Well, sensei replied. Freedom means different things for different people. Freedom is about the ability to choose, the ability to do whatever it is that make you, makes you happy. Why? Should everyone have freedom? The green-haired boy asked, turning around to look at the figure behind him. He knew Aizawa Sensei would follow him. Unless someone's done something to warrant their freedom being taken away... I do believe they should. Please, take a step back, Midoriya. The raven-haired man responded. Wings. The boy smiled. Wings? Do you know why they call it a mockingbird? No, kid. Why are they called mockingbirds? They say it's because they can mimic the sounds and songs and sounds of other birds. But that's not what I think. The boy gently swayed, shaking his head. What do you think? The teacher carefully edged towards the boy. Capture weapon at the ready. Mockingbirds are supposed to symbolize innocence, justice, and protection. But they're nothing but liars. Them imitating the sounds of other birds represents their vulnerability. They pretend to be other birds in order to not be seen. They not only lack originality and authentic, on, authenticity, but are too weak to exist in their own rights, thus using the fa- faca- fa- facade of other birds to fit in. They're nothing but frauds, Midoriya answered. I see. Aizawa trailed off as he attempted to contact back up in case his student was too close to the edge. Was to was to make an impulse oh, who was too close to the edge was to make an impulsive decision. But if they lose their voices, he continued. If their most important feature, the thing that defines them, is gone, what is the point of living? They're useless. I'm sure they do have a use, just like all of us do. Aizawa made a mental note to schedule Midoriya in for a session with Hound Dog. Wings, Midoriya breathed. 
despite their uselessness. Their wings give them purpose. Their wings give them their freedom, freedom to migrate, freedom to pack up and leave their troubles behind. They get the luxury of moving on to their next mimic victim whilst never having to be reminded of their past, always being able to run away from predators. Wings is what gives them the freedom to escape. Because wings were made to fly. Hey, let's head back to the dorms and finish this conversation over a nice hot chocolate. Aizawa silently pleaded. Tears collected in Izuku's eye, in Midoriya's eye. Tears collected in Midoriya's. Once full of life, dull green eyes as, he, as his breath staggered. Sensei. Yes, kid? I'm a mockingbird. No, you're not. You are an asset to UA. You have so much potential and are one of the most kind, caring, and influential people I know, Midoriya. Mizawa slightly elevated his voice, being cautious not to startle or distress his fragile student. Sensei, Midoriya ignored. I'm not finished yet. The teacher cut in. Please listen to me, Midoriya. You have purpose. You are not weak. Far from it, actually. You are not useless. You save so many people, including myself. You are your own person and exist in your own right. Please don't feel trapped. You also have wings. You have freedom. You are able to do so much. Please walk towards me. As I would desperately urged, I have freedom. I have wings. Realization hit Midoriya. Yes, you have freedom and wings. You will become the world's greatest hero and save lives wherever you go. Sensei, if I have wings, Midoriya tearfully smiled as his teacher lunged towards him. Watch me fly. Um... Um, I'm sorry. I should have read this beforehand. Should have. Fuck. I'm sorry. I should have read that beforehand. Thank you for listening.